Rose Murad, the only female soldier in the old city of Aleppo, prepares for one of her last patrols here. Rose is from seaside city of Latakia. She worked as an animal trainer in the Aleppo Zoo for nearly a decade. After rebels took control of the zoo, she joined the army. I joined the army to help people of Aleppo. I wanted to do something for them and for our motherland. I never expected the crisis would last this long. At that time, I just thought I might get back to work in one year, but now I'm still here. Rose's family members still supported her decision, even though they worried for her safety. As a new recruit, Rose discovered her strong interest in weapons. Her commanders assigned her to a unit trying to retake the old city. Her most harrowing moment came when rebels dug a tunnel underneath her position to plant explosives. We could hear the digging sound. When the sound stopped, we knew they would detonate explosives. So before that, we put bombs into the tunnel and blew up the rebels and destroyed the tunnel. When Rose told us about her experiences, she gave no hint of distress. I've always been optimistic and trying to spread this feeling to my comrades. I think we are on righteous side and righteousness will win. While the Syrian army has retaken Aleppo, the fighting isn't over for Rose. She will ship out with her unit to the next front line. I'm happy the battle is over and displaced people started to go back home, bringing more spirit to the city. Also, I feel sad because I'm leaving. There's nothing more we could do now. Others might have grown tired of the fighting and wary of the place they were fighting for, but not for Rose. She says her combat experiences deepened the bound she feels for Aleppo, especially for the oldest part of the city, the citadel. The citadel is a symbol to give me strength and make me strong. I had a lot of memories here. I love the citadel and one day I'll be back for sure. Xu Dezhi, CCTV, Aleppo, Syria.